Hi everybody, Steve with Midwest Panel Builders again, and today we got another quick tip for you. This came from a few of our customers, some questions that they had about uh, how to efficiently edit their flight plans. And so let's go ahead and dig in. So I'm gonna use an example that I just recently had for myself flying from my home airport in Lapeer, Delta 9 or 5, up into uh, Harbor Springs. And so if we took a direct line to the airport, we had to deal with some airspace right here, this restricted airspace that uh, was active at the time so we couldn't fly through it. Uh, so instead of trying to make a user waypoint or you know, just steering my plane around it, uh, what we decided to do was to graphically edit that flight plan and make it a little bit easier. So what we would do is we would hit the menu button. Now right now, I don't have the option there, okay? It would normally be right here. So if you don't see it, the reason why you don't see it is because you are navigating with the external navigator if you have one, okay? If you don't have the external navigator, you'll always be on internal. But we come over to the flight plan page and we can see here that I'm on the external GPS. So I can just switch that to the internal and then now I can make my changes here. Anytime I'm on an external, it won't let me make changes to the flight plan. I have to do it on the GTN. So we can just bring it over, use the internal, and I can either do it here, edit on map, or we can go back to the map that I was on, and we can do it here as well. So we'll go ahead and now we see that we have the graphically edit flight plan. So I can click that. It brings this map up. So let me zoom in come over to the area, and here's the area that I wanna to try to get around. So all I have to do is push on the line that I wanna change, and then now I can drag that line. So we'll get that line outside of the area, let go, it asks if I wanna make a user waypoint, we'll go ahead and make that a user waypoint. We could name it, you know, do whatever it is that we wanna do, and then hit okay. Now we've changed that flight plan. So let's hit save, and now the information is in there. If you see, what happened, not only did we change this line here, because I have user waypoint right here, but we also made it into the GTN because the G3X will go ahead and transfer that into the GTN with no problem. So if I wanted to still go and then navigate with my GTN instead, I could just come back to my flight plan, hit external GPS, and now I'm navigating off of uh, the external navigator or you could leave it on the internal. It doesn't really matter if you're just flying VFR, it's not really a big deal. So anyways, that's a nice, quick, easy way to change your flight plan without a lot of work and a lot of input into any of the units. And uh, so we just wanted to show you how to get that done.